My name is Arthur and Homelander is you. Well, if you're a man, he is a mirror of 21st century man, which is why this villain is so popular. But I feel like you have a brewing question. How does Homelander reflect man and who are those men of 21st century? Okay, now I will talk about certain layer of man. This is a separate category, I'll bet a big one. And if in upcoming description you will see yourself, write a comment about it. Man of 21st century. This generation of man is very different from past because it was heavily influenced by the society, surrounding world and relationship with the parents. We live in a relatively safe world and this is said by a person who lives in a country that has been invaded and at any moment a missile can fly into my house. But I am talking about countries when the main problem of teenager is a lack of PlayStation 5 in front of their TV. A PS5? A PS5, Kaylin? A PS5? We have generations when no one worries that they will starve to death or be beaten by wolves in the middle of night. Therefore, it is increasingly difficult to appear in the front of the world with the classic set of masculine qualities. Now many such qualities are called toxic masculinity and that's the number one problem. Today's men are surrounded by judgment. This generation gets all the hate for the sins of the past generation. And given that most spend their time on internet and not in the real world, is attention in form of likes and comments. By the way, if you not agree with my previous take, you just prove my point. That naturally creates a need for all this, even if a person did not want it all the above before. Adding fuel to the fire is the relationship with father, who is often many times tougher. Naturally, the son wants to be like the father, but the problem is that times has changed and he simply cannot realize himself as his father. This creates a self-hatred and desire to be recognized by father, who at best sometimes pays attention to the son. Such fathers oftentimes are egoists, who use their kids and their attention to amuse their egos. Amigos. But let's be honest, in our time the situation when father abandons the family are common, which leads to the fact the son spent all his time with the mother and this greatly affects the perception of children's world, because the mother now performs the function for too and is the main authority. When parent all by himself tries to feed himself and the child, it often makes person stale, simply so as not to break down and give the children everything he needs so that he can stand on his feet. Such a relationship with mother is rarely filled with love. It's rather do your job and I do mine. Do everything right and I will buy you PS5 for it. No! The parent can be understood. It's difficult for her so she wants the children to grow up faster so they can survive. We which increases the need for praise and creates a fear of rejection, which is why this layer of man is panicked by women, which can lead to the non-stop donations on Twitch. This happens subconsciously, person rarely understand their feeling, this is why oftentimes the fear becomes hatred. As a result, we get a person who is destructively in a conscious state of by mind. By the way, no joke, this is the reason why in the porn industry the MILF category gets more and more popularity. This type of man needs support in such intimate matter, a woman who resembles a mother most of all helps to relax. Therefore, we see more and more relationship where the woman is older than man and they more likely to take the initiative in many ways. Or if man is more prone to the hatred rather than fear, he turns into a guy who with all his appearance tries to prove everyone that he does not care. Despite in his soul, he's shaking and defiantly uses the women, which is closes circle. Now he's the same callous father or guy who ran away before the birth. As a result, we get a person who is in disastrously conscious state of mind, know about all his disadvantages and knows that he can be punished and separated from the attention or love. And it might seem to be normal, but the fact is that type of people are rarely, despite their disadvantage, they have prawns. The upcoming problems they... they they that they know about are quite solvable. All of the above is masterfully inscribed in the character of Homelander. Homelander is a mirror. His father, Soldier Boy, is a classic rude asshole who becomes ass because his father treated him same way. This self-hatred and desire to imitate his father has passed to the Homelander. He said it was a disappointment. Not good enough to carry his name. So I went to his golf buddies in the war department and they got me into Dr. Vought's compound V-trials. 
I became a superhero. Strongest man alive, fucking ticker tape parades when I came home. And what did the old man say then? That a real man wouldn't have cheated. Shame that I've missed so much. Maybe if I'd raised you, I could have made you better. I'm you. I know. Although he never saw his father, you will ask how it was transmitted if they had no contact. Well, guys and girls, why did I spend 4 minutes of my life to explain you this? His absence and constant demands from the what company to corn from to the soldier boy image influenced him, okay? You need to take into account the age of homie, he's a 40. 40. <laughs> In the series, he is from the generation that suffered from incredible stories from their father about their adventures in Vietnam, which many of them did not happen. By the way, this is repeatedly touched in the TV show The 70s Show, when the father constantly points on lack of masculinity of his son. So, I guess this is the way an immature, engaged high school dumbass with no car, no job, and no money trims the hedges. That was like eight burns in one sentence. Such rude attitude and constant repetition knocked out all the masculinity that could have developed with the edge if the father did not constantly press the child. Unfortunately, Homelander couldn't break the circle. His attitude towards his son is similar the way Soldier Boy treats him and how his father treated him. Homie kinda loves his son, but still works on the formula. Do what I said and you will get the attention. He doesn't know how to honestly open up and teach. He just set the task like they did with him in what? <laughs> it's a vicious cycle of self-hatred and desire to please his father, which turns him into his father. Therefore, it's often said that with age, kids become similar to their parents. My son and I should be around him. I wasn't around my dad the fucking way I turned out. The only reason he wants to be with Ryan is because he thinks only they can understand each other. In 40 years old, he's still stuck in his teenage years when you think that no one will understand you and his justification of this was superpowers. But he is still surrounded by superheroes and he's still afraid to open up. Such a fear of opening up opens up another problem. It either trusts the person 100% or torn on the paranoia mode. He's childish about human interaction and trust, which is why he's ready to kill if someone kept silent about something from him or lied to him. Although at the same time he himself does such things. The image of mother for homie is Madeline Stilwell. He is by the way exactly the same mother that I described earlier. She wants him to grow up faster, get on his feet and benefit the corporation. This attitude towards him has created a need for attention and praise with which he tries to feel the lack of love. Madeline becomes the image by which he subconsciously looks for a parent, blood partner. <laughs> and let's be honest, the relationship between homie and Madeline will make jealous the masterminds on the Pornhub. At first, it may seem that he was only interested in her, but a relationship with Stormfront, which by the way is over 100 years old, proves that Homelander needs not just a sexual partner, but a mother, who will feel always sorry for him and will say that he is special. He even suffers special, not like the most people in this world. Stormfront understood this, so she gave him the right compliments and knew how to feel sorry for him even in the critical condition. To put up with these fucking people. They want me. There you go. See, they want me weak, castrated. They should be worshiping me. But after losing his mother and his girlfriend, Homie went full Kanye West mode. By the way, if you want a breakdown of Kanye's art, like, comment and let's get it. He flew off the rails and there is no one to stop him, to show care and love. Because of this, he is even more obsessed with approval that is a social media network's rating likes. I remember what I told you would happen to Huey. You walk. That's next. Now that you've told my 190 million followers, 
I'm still pretty famous. <laughs> the lack of love he seeks in everyone and appreciates the great show blood. I wrote some stupid stuff so cause of lack of love he seeks everyone appreciation and attention okay got it stuff basically makes him confident no appreciation and attention no confidence got it got it let's move on he tried to do everything perfectly to get praise you can see how in the first case he is really trying to save people but his lack of experience and hot head ruined everything a normal person will just draw conclusion and not going to make those mistakes in future he essentially begin to hate himself and realize that he has lost the chance for praise the only form of love and when he realized that he can make mistakes and receive love he stopped worrying about the completing tasks he is not driven by empathy he only cares about his possibility of receiving love since he did not receive it in childhood homelander's behavior is a metaphor for young bloggers who for attention and likes ready to do anything often many of them have a complicated past or a very tough father whose shadow is cast over the rest of their lives lack of self-confidence has created an egocentric shield he must always assert itself because this is the only way to not get mirrored in the depression since childhood he was taught to do everything according to the plan then he received praises now in adulthood he wants everything to be done according to his rule then they will receive the praise in total as for Result, we got a person with borderline disorder violence lack of love and attention all this was in the homelanders childhood people with this disorder describe their life as a complete chaos they are unstable in all areas and their mood is constantly changing such people experience difficulties in relationship they tend to merge with other peoples and do not understand borders at all without other people they do not feel Feel complete so they live in internal fear of being rejected and lonely such people are drawn to other but at the same time they very strict to them any truffle can disappoint them and make them repel the person whom they recently considered the best in the world now carefully people with borderline personality disorder live in it eternal existential crisis often they try to cope with this by using psychoactive substances so the risk of addiction for such people is extremely high all this worsens their condition causes greater anxiety and feeling of abandonment Homelander has become a man of extreme, of which there are many in our time. The same YouTube is a mirror of what humanity has become. Now it's just impossible to make just a video and express just an opinion. You always need to hit the extreme, you either love it or you hate it. It's a failure or masterpiece. This is why Homelander hooks so much men and women. He is not just a mirror for men, but in some cases he is a mirror of our society and what do you think about that write it in comment if you like this video hit the like and subscribe to the channel and if you want more content from me visit my patreon but if you want to help the victims of war in ukraine all the links will be in the description and pin comment